Welcome to our introduction to the library's online offerings here at Purdue University Fort Wayne. Whether you're new to the university or looking for a refresher on the services that our library offers, this tutorial will help you get started with your online research. To get there, you can either Google PFW Library or you can go directly there at library.pfw.edu. On the library's main homepage, you can find a plethora of information and services right here at your fingertips. Now we know that new places can be daunting and so overwhelming that you may be lost on what to do and where to go. So if you need help navigating the site, you can always pop open this Ask Us tab and chat with somebody during business hours. That's all great, but now that we are here, where do you start your search? If you look over here, we have tabs that link to different parts of our online catalog. A search bar, and then underneath that are quick links. One is to Academic Search Complete. It is an excellent place to find articles for your introductory classes. For instance, this quick search gives us over 2,000 results. You can check this box if you want a scholarly journal, and then hit Search to get your results. Over here to the left, we have limiters to help you narrow down your search. For more information on how this works, please feel free to check out our video using this database. By the way, did you notice the library's name up here at the top of the page? If you click on it, you'll go back to where you started. Speaking of which, let's look at a few of those search options from the home page. In the center of the screen, we have our search bar. Above it are three navigation tabs. This first tab is an everything search. This is great when you know the title of what you're looking for. Searching here will do a look through a bunch of our databases at once, plus the library's catalog. It casts a pretty wide net. When we do this search, the article comes right up, and we click here to get to the link to the full text. If it turns out that there is no full text link, you can use this Request Item Through Document Delivery link, and the library will get the article for you and email it to you within one to three business days. But in this case, we click here, and if you're off campus, you will be prompted to log in with your regular PFW credentials. Then you'll be able to get right to the full text. You may be asking yourself, why don't we just Google this article? Everything's online, so this should be simple, right? Well, if we Google, we hit a paywall. How much do you think that we're going to be asked to pay for this article? One dollar? Ten? Twenty? Try forty-two dollars for this article. There is no need to pay for this article when you can get it for free, right? So come to our website and we'll get you all the resources that you need. So what if we don't know what we're looking for, but we really want a book that the library owns? Then we use the catalog option. This will do a quick and dirty keyword search and only give you things that the library owns in its collection, nothing else. This search gave us 78 books. 19 are physically available in the library and 57 are eBooks. And just like with Academic Search Complete, we have our limiters here to the left. These include material types, such as books and DVDs, as well as date of publication and author. They help you narrow down your search. Next to the search bar at the top is our advanced search feature. We discussed this in a different tutorial, so we won't spend any time on it, but it's good to know where it is if you need it. Over here to the right is where you will log in with your PFW username and password, then click your name to view your account. You can renew materials, request items, and see what you have checked out from our collection right here. Next, we have our link to all databases. This is exactly what it says. It's a link to our databases in alphabetical order. If your professor wants you to use a specific database, such as JSTOR, this is where you're going to find it. Let's say that we've just started working on a research paper, and we are having difficulty with the assignment and need assistance. Where would we go? Well, in this case, there are two places to check out, Research by Topic and Ask a Librarian. Let's look at Research by Topic first. Here you will find resources cherry-picked for each of the subjects taught here at Purdue University Fort Wayne. So if I scroll down and I click on Theater Resources, we have a page for all of our theater resources. Over to the left is a navigation menu. This will take us to the different sections of the guide depending on our needs. If we are having any trouble, we can always email or set up an appointment with a subject librarian by clicking on the links here. Or if we just want to skip all of this and just speak with a librarian, we can go to the Ask a Librarian section here and set up an appointment. The first thing that we will see is our chat. You'll remember it as the pop-out on the homepage. 
This is a static version, nothing new to see here, so we're just going to move along. If you prefer to speak with someone the old-fashioned way, you can call us at our phone number like it's 1920. If you're in more of a 2020 mindset, you can text us at this number. If the question isn't too pressing, you can always email us at our email address and we'll get back to you within one to two business days. And schedule an appointment lets us schedule an appointment with one of our research librarians and it's super easy to do. When you click to schedule an appointment with a librarian, you can select a staff member or hit no preference. On the calendar, select a day that you would like to meet and then select one of the available times. Hit continue. The more information that you can give us here on this form, the better we can be prepared to help you. When you are finished, click confirm appointment. You will then receive an email letting you know that the librarian has accepted. If you want to find out who your librarian is for your subject, it's as easy as clicking on the Find Your Librarian link. This will take you to our staff directory, and while all of these charming and wonderful people would be more than happy to help you, if you go over here to the Librarian link in the navigation menu, it will limit you to just the librarians. Finding your librarian is as simple as looking at the subjects listed beneath each of their photos. That is it for today's tutorial. If you have any further questions, we will be more than happy to speak with you in person or over at our website at library.pfw.edu.